move very swiftly for a replacement, which I think is giving them the best possible chance of Im improving the results. And obviously the experience of uh, the advocate is, is obviously one they're hoping to draw on that he can uh, get something a little more out of the players than Gus managed to do. And of course, more importantly, to obviously to get more points on the board. So I think it'll be... Um, you know, one of those for us that makes the the game more difficult. I think that um, the new manager comes in and and the fact they got beat four 0 last week. I think the the players at Sunderland will be very hurt by the fact that they let the fans down. They'll also be, you know, feeling like they've let Gus down. I'm sure about that, and they'll want to do something about it. Like you know, so I think we'll have a very tough game on uh, on Saturday. Yeah, I, well, a little bit, but I mean, when you see the experience of a man who's managed across the world, you know, I, I wouldn't have thought there'd be too many surprises for him coming managing in the Premier League. Uh, I think that, um, you know, there's a there's a different um, level of football at this at this Premier League level that is in terms of its its quality and its intensity. It's it's quicker and better and, and just as skillful as anywhere else in the world. So, but I think it's more about him getting used to his players and and how best he can pick a system with the players he's got to get results. I think that's his probably main aim, not worrying about being in the Premier League because he's been across the world managing all levels and managed very, very successfully. So I don't think that he's got any worries about that. I think he'd be worried about how good are the players, what the player's capable of and what team do I pick that's the best team available to me to, to win football matches, which is what we all do.